Hello, I'm Ken Tompkins. The subject of this podcast are my experiences aboard the Regina Maris doing scientific research on whales in the spring of 1978. I first joined the tall ship Regina Maris in 1978. It was run by a former physician in the Boston area by the name of George Nichols who had purchased the ship to do contract research on humpback whales in the Caribbean and in the North Atlantic. And he made it possible for people to sign on as a student crew to help with the research and to man the ship. The idea behind the ship was to experience a, a true tall ship. She was a 144 foot barkentine, uh, full sails, and also to do research he was um, counting whales and photographing whales, watching whales, doing statistical studies on whales, temperature, time of day, etc. Being aboard the Regina Maris was uh, very, very exciting for me. And I don't think I'll ever forget the experience. It was a ship that at that point in the 70s was about 50 years old. She had been a Baltic trader and had been outfitted for crew of about 34. The day-by-day -day activity was to man the ship, to haul sail and to do all the tasks that needed to be done on a ship of that size and that, and that age. And we did that in watches as if we were actually at, you know, at sea and in real situations. We actually were at sea in real situations. And we climbed uh, 90 feet above the deck and used uh, all of the techniques of, of uh, seamanship that would have been used on the ship had she been anywhere else in the world. When we weren't actually working the ship or sleeping, we had classes of various kinds about seamanship, about uh, sextants, about finding our position, about whales, about the life cycle of whales. When we weren't doing all of this, we were aloft, sitting on yard arms in various places in the sails to be able to watch whales, and did this uh, every day. We ate well, and we played well. We had good times. We stopped at various ports in the Caribbean. Weather, of course, in the Caribbean every day was about 85, so it was perfect weather day after day after day for the six weeks that I was aboard. We slept in bunks below. The most incredible part of the voyage were the whales themselves. We saw whales on a daily basis, sometimes in threes and fours, sometimes mothers with calves. Coming right up literally to the side of the ship, they breached in the distance as they would jump out of the water. They do dove so we could see their tails. They slapped the water with their fins. Uh, they were incredible. And as I said, I don't think I will ever forget the experiences I had aboard the Regina Maris. And I have to report, sadly enough, that she was scuttled and, and she does not exist. And in some ways, I, there's a great hole in my being because she's not there and is not, has not been protected and cared for. So it's a sad end to a great ship and a great story.